somewhere deep in Death Valley in my secret laboratory. Um, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how to make nitro diesel. So, you guys ready? Let's get started. Alright people, it's no secret that uh, biodiesel is made from vegetable oil. So I drove into town about 100 miles from here, hard to get stuff in Death Valley, and purchased just uh, vegetable oil. Straight from the counter, nothing special. Uh, we're going to use clean vegetable oil to keep the process simple, but of course you can always use the uh, waste vegetable oil. Another important product um, to making biodiesel is uh, methanol. We've got a few containers of methanol here. Again, this is also a purchased item. Um, you gotta make sure that the purity on this is pretty high and it's not contaminated. So we got our methanol, we got our vegetable oil, and the next. You guys figure out what that one is. We're going to start our process by heating up our oil to a temperature to approximately 130-135 degrees Fahrenheit. The other chemicals that we're going to be using, like I mentioned, was uh, methanol and of course our famous KOH, which I'm sure you guys know what that is by now. Uh, these two chemicals are very volatile and definitely you got to use them with care. Uh, make sure you take the necessary precautions if you're going to uh, try to make it a and just watch closely.
if uh, my calculations are correct, after I let that settle, we will have two separate layers. Uh, the upper layer should be our biodiesel, and the bottom layer will be the uh, glycerin, uh, which we have to remove. Again, remember this is biodiesel and this is a uh, uh, glycerin that we have to remove. Uh, we still gotta do a little bit more refinement. We gotta do a top, top wash. Uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Check it out. Bon Shankan. I guess settling for about 15-20 minutes as you can see again biodiesel on top impurities on the bottom uh, we put in this type of container for demonstration purposes um, so you can actually see uh, the contrast between the impurities and the biodiesel uh, I basically I designed you know a little container with a couple uh, breather holes and a line to remove the impurities so what I'm gonna do Deep down deep. So what I'm going to do is uh, throw this mixture in here, uh, shake it up rigorously and again remove all the impurities. As you see they settle to the bottom so they all should settle right in here. And then uh, for my command I'll just reduce the impurities leave the biodiesel on top. Yeah. 